This is Wake Up Washington on WUSA 9. Also, now comes the payback. That mild winter we had. Hint, it is time to stock up on the bug spray in a big way. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, you know, we had such a warm winter, barely any snow. So how is that going to play a role in our summer weather? I'm talking about bugs, mosquitoes. So here's the answer. Remember how warm it was this past February? This is remarkable for this time of year. This is going to go down as one of the warmest Februarys on record, if not one of the warmest. Yep, the warmest February on record for D.C. So does that mean we're going to have record-breaking mosquitoes, too? Will it be the worst season ever? I'm not sure if it's going to be the worst, but it's going to be busy because it started so early. Whether it is 10 mosquitoes or 5,000. Your tolerance is about one mosquito bite. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Damian Sanchez of DC Mosquito Squad says mosquito season started early. A lot heavier call volumes uh, about people complaining about mosquitoes. Dr. Mike Rapp, University of Maryland entomology professor and the bug guy. Yeah, he put me through the ringer. <laughs> Spiders like that? But he also answered the begging question, how does this warm winter impact our mosquito population? And for those insect pests that have more than one generation a year, there are simply going to be more. We know the drill. Wear loose, light-colored clothing, use insect repellent when outside, dump standing water, deal with that really loud sound. Getting your yard sprayed. But two areas remain overlooked because out of sight, out of mind. They're above. When you have gutters and trees so close to the house, you can get debris in the gutters and that can block up the, you know, the drainage system. And then so you can have water pooling there. Go up and clean that drain because they'll breed in a roof drain. If you can't drain it, then you can use these. These are called BT dunks. And you below. You're going to have water that's just going to sit in there, you know, for, you know, days. And that's plenty of time for mosquitoes to breed. With more mosquitoes comes a higher chance of diseases for sure. Zika. But Dr. Rob, he put it into perspective for our region. Again, the odds are extraordinarily low. I don't think this is something people should worry about, and it certainly should not prevent people from going outdoors and enjoying nature. <sighs> okay, maybe I'm not done. <laughs> Gotta get that spray. That was my house where you guys found tons of uh, yes. habitats for mosquitoes there. So I actually hired those guys <laughs> to spray my house because he said, Jane, you've got a lot of standing water in a lot of areas that I couldn't see. He, he, he walked in, he goes, this is a breeding ground for <laughs> bugs. And I said, oh, Dan. <laughs> I have a lot of vegetation. I have a lot of plants and stuff. Yeah, but that's the thing. He said, you know, with a lot of the older areas in D.C., you know, this is a developed area that's been around forever. So yeah. we have all of those bushes and the ivy around it's just breeding all those mosquitoes and also one thing that dr rob showed me he i'm I, i'm always using the deep but some people don't like that you know and i thought i'm just skeptical that those natural the, the eucalyptus doesn't really work right. and we tested it and it works it so, does work yeah it really? does it, it doesn't last for many as many hours but if you reapply the natural stuff does work wow okay so that's good to my, know i guess i'll switch and now uh, stuff's spraying the deed everywhere